from the Bob Mills Weather Center, meteorologist Stephen Nerens. Cold, cold, cold north winds. Uh, they've been fierce for the last several hours. That, that Arctic cold front reached Tulsa basically right at the stroke of midnight last night, and it has been full-on Arctic air ever since, even with sunshine. And there's a look from Owasso. Wind gusts are still in the 25, 35 mile an hour range. Temperatures, 20s. They're trying to recover a little bit, but they won't be able to recover all that much. 30 in McAllister, 25 Tulsa, still 19 in Miami. That's where the clouds are hanging on. And those wind chill values still in the teens and single digits is what it feels like. We've at least got the negatives off the map now, but five. Here we are. It's almost one o'clock in the afternoon. The wind chills five in Coffeyville, 12 here in Tulsa is what it feels like. And again, those gusts uh, it's still 25, 35 miles per hour through the afternoon. Once we hit sunset and past sunset, they will diminish significantly. But we do have a wind advisory on top of all the cold today as uh, occasionally some gusts could reach the uh, 40 mile an hour range. Powerful, powerful storm system. Obviously, they rolled through here. Uh, the dry air just got wrapped into this system really quickly, and that happens more often than not with winter weather systems around here when we talk about snowfall potential dry air is often the culprit of changing that a little bit that's what happened this morning that dry air got wrapped in really quickly pushed any snow potential away from Tulsa and just kept it in far southeastern Oklahoma and they've had some big severe weather like quite a few tornado warnings last night early this morning in portions of Arkansas that's not moving into Mississippi the cold air will continue to deepen though so we if we don't get above freezing officially today here in Tulsa we won't do it again until Wednesday uh, these are our highs and of course, the lows are going to be a lot lower than this. Uh, highs, 20s tomorrow. Highs barely into the teens on Sunday and MLK Day Monday. And again, we'll try to you know thaw out a little more by Wednesday and Thursday. Those are the afternoon temperatures. Morning wind chills. I want to run through the morning wind chills uh, the next few days. Tomorrow morning, uh, from about say midnight to sunrise from Tulsa to the south, winds will be light. But then right around sunrise here in Tulsa, earlier than that to the north, the next kind of secondary cold front pushes in, and that will start to really lower the wind chills back below zero uh, Sunday, Saturday morning. Excuse me, north of Tulsa. Sunday morning. Uh, brutal. I mean, frankly, dangerous to be out in for an extended period of time. Wind chills uh, minus 10 to minus 15 are certainly a possibility Sunday. And then as we head into Martin Luther King Jr. Day Monday, same story. Again, wind chills around minus 15 are certainly uh, looking like they're in the cards for us. That's going to be really tough for anyone to deal with that you have to have any sort of extended time outside uh, over the next several days uh, in mornings in particular. Highs today, uh, if you're south of I-40, basically Oak Mulgee to the south, I think you'll climb back above of freezing briefly for a few hours. Tulsa, we'll see if we get there. You get it towards Veneta, Miami. Your highs today only in the 20s, not very high. Tomorrow morning, uh, that next front comes surging in right around sunrise. We'll, we'll keep an eye out for any moisture right behind the front because obviously temperature is way below freezing, so we'd be keeping an eye on that. At the moment, we don't see any signs uh, of that occurring, maybe a flurry in southeast Kansas. Highs tomorrow, southeastern Oklahoma. Again, you'll have a brief time where you could get back above freezing before that front reaches you, but Tulsa, a high of 25, and then north of Tulsa, you may not even get to the 20 degree mark. As we head into Sunday, We've been seeing this weather maker showing up for most of the week that should bring snow into Oklahoma during the day Sunday for our side of the state. The timing has generally been Sunday afternoon through Sunday night, and then we may have that linger into Monday morning. There's still not every detail locked in here. One of the big pieces that we're watching is dry air uh, above the surface because, as I mentioned earlier, dry air impacts our winter systems and our snow chances a lot around here, and the air out ahead of that system Sunday will be very, very dry. So that means as snow starts to move in initially, it'll all evaporate. And what we're going to have to time out is when that process changes, the atmosphere moistens up a little bit more and then the snow starts making it to the ground. So preliminary snowfall forecast for Sunday. And I go, again, I know snow lovers, you know, we've had three or four chances for snow the last week or so that have just been, you know, very minimal overall. Uh, and this one, again, not totally locked in. And you see this light blue shading, which includes pretty much all of us. We do still think the one to two inch range seems like a good bet for pretty much all of us. Two to four inches or maybe slightly higher will be a possibility if those, uh, those snow rates are heavy enough. But that's still something that we're ironing out over the weekend. That map will still change. Amounts could come down a little bit if it looks like the dry air is going to win out. But even just an inch or two of snow on Sunday with temperatures in the teens and single digits will cause travel problems. So we're watching uh, that travel concerns possibly Sunday into Monday if we see some snow roll through. But you can see just brutally cold conditions the next several days.